Rincón de la Victoria, of ancient origin, since this way it is testified by the prehistoric remains found in its surroundings, was named Besmillana by the Arabs, owing its current name to the installation in these lands of the Order of the Minimums and its convent of the Victory. Nowadays, it is a tourist nucleus of great importance thanks to its white and elegant beaches, preserves in Benagabon the memory of its history. The municipality consists of four nuclear population, La Cala del Morral, Rincón de la Victoria, Benagalbón and Torre de Benagalbón. La Casa Fuerte de Besmillana is no doubt the most emblematic monument. It was built about 1766 as complement of the traditional organization of the military defense already existing in the 16th century in order to push back the maritime and terrestrial piracy that was stalking the zone. Nowadays this building is in use as room of exhibitions and its walls shelter periodically works of the most famous Spanish artists in all disciplines. Cueva del Tesoro is situated on one of the stony grounds or small steep that in the shape of limey promontories of the Jurassic Epoch appear to the sea on this part of the Mediterranean coast. The sea formed typical galleries of submarine caves with columns and throats. Later, once immersed the zone on the level of the sea, filterings of sweet water will constituting formations of stalactites and stalagmites. The cave is also known by a legend on the existence of an excure hidden in one of its caves during the Arab Epoch. This legend is reflected in the 17th century writings of Fray Antonio Agustín de Milla y Suazo, in which he narrates that the exterior was hidden by the emperor of the Almoradives, Tasufin ibn Ali, in the 12th century. The Mediterranean archaeological park of Rincón de la Victoria has turned with its almost 80,000 square meters of surface into the principal public space of the municipality. The enclosure placed in the proximities of the Cueva del Tesoro has as principal aim to protect the numerous underground cavities found in the zone declared well of cultural interest. Inside this set of grottos, which cannot be visited, stands out the Cave of the Victory, in which there have been situated cave paintings of a great historical value. An exact reply of this cave has been realized in which there can be seen on relief some of the found paintings. The Museum of Arts and Benagabon's popular traditions constitutes a place to meet again with the different rural activities of the zone and the different spaces of a traditional house. Installed in the building constructed to shelter also the public library and the home of the pensioner, it was born by hands of the cultural weeks held annually, in the idea of creating between the neighbours a campaign of withdrawal of cultural material that was related to their past, in danger of disappearance due to the enormous transformations in the uses and forms of life of our current society. Finally, it is necessary to emphasize Benagabon, origin of the importance of this area. Benagabon was founded by members of a Berber tribe, the Kalb Um, who introduced their skill in the agriculture, creating new sources of wealth with the exploitation of the grapevine. In the 15th century, Benagabon was a farmhouse with a tower of defense distanced from the littoral as a league situation that benefited the area when the Reyes Catolicos ordered at the end of the conquest that the Spanish Muslims living under Christian rules, Mudejars, could not recite to less than five leagues of the coast as a preventive measurement of possible agreements of these with the North African ones. 
These have been main points of Rincón de la Victoria, municipality of the metropolitan area of Malaga, door of the region of the Axarquía and one of the principal tourist destinations on the Costa del Sol.